This is driftwood beach. They call it that because a ton of driftwood has washed up onto the shore. So much of it that people have already built a bunch of driftwood beach houses. Our goal is to build the best one on the beach. This house is currently in the number one spot, so we're gonna have to beat this. Chris, are you peeing on the house? Oh no, it's just a water bottle. So in order to one up all the houses, I think we need to make an elevated deck. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna find four Ys. If we make it strong, that gives us a good foundation to start laying other ones. Dude, that's super cool and that's just a tiny one. Heck yeah. I'm sorry, Jeff. Oh, first thing we gotta do is make a giant driftwood pile. Yay. These are so stuck. It's not gonna work. Yes, it will. Go. Ah, it's working. working. It wasn't working. We pressed forward with our plan to find the best pieces of driftwood for our epic beach house. Just when we thought we were off to a good start, the unthinkable happened. Jeff needed to leave unexpectedly for an emergency at home, which left me to achieve our dream of creating the number one beach house alone. I continue to collect driftwood, having to travel further and further down the beach. It was becoming more and more difficult to carry the logs by myself. With my brother gone, I began to wonder if this task was even possible to achieve. I asked myself, would we be able to beat the number one beach house? I don't know, I'm like starting to lose faith. After our first failure, we reluctantly decided to come back three weeks later. How are we gonna build the number one beach house? So we have a legion of friends led by a sea turtle coming from the ocean right now. We got help from the ocean, let's build this thing. With our new build team, a blueprint in hand, and the power of a magic sea turtle, our dream was reignited. After finishing the deck, our next step was putting up the front posts. It's important that the driftwood logs have a Y shape at the top, as it'll be used to hold up the roof. With these features, it brought our beach house to ninth place. So we officially finished our deck. We got our four front posts up. Lift up the beam. Go. This is honestly turning out epic. This thing works great too. Oh, nice. You're gonna have to eat it. Full send it, Chris. Oh, that's not full sending it. Shoot. Higher, higher, higher. Good job. There, come on. There we go. We did it. All right, this is the only one left. We gotta get this one. Dig, dig, dig. Good break! While the team started digging a hole for the final beam, I began to measure the log with this stick to determine how deep the hole needs to be. Hey guys, we have to make the hole this deep. For real? Oh, yeah. What the heck? As our build was getting closer to completion, we were quickly moving up the ranks. Since our beams are up, we can start assembling the roof. Hey everybody, I just want you to know, we love you all very much and we appreciate you watching. So, here's the game plan. Currently, I think we're number two on the beach because our house is much bigger than every other house except for the number one. And we have an epic deck. So I think once we build walls with windows and just really add a ton of decorations to this thing, we're gonna take the win. Decorations. A hug? No. Okay. Do you like my creation? Yeah. It adds a little bit of, you know, beauty to the place. With the beauty added by the magical sea turtle, we are sure that we will take the win. All that's left to do is complete the walls and the windows. Our dreams of building the most epic beach house are finally coming true. After a long journey with highs, 
and Los, we finally completed our epic beach house. Now, it was time to find out if we had taken first place. What's your name, dude? Gabriel. This is Gabriel, a random beach goer with an unbiased opinion who will judge which house is the best on the beach. All right, so this is our front deck here. Nice and sturdy, you can walk on it. He trusts it, dang. Wow, really trust our work. And I'm loving these decorations that you have up here. Wonderful, you got a skylight in here. Oh, this is incredible. Get, yep. Nice walls, nice structure. You got windows. Multiple seating cool. options in here. We got a little stool. Oh, we got a bench. Nice. And then over here, when it gets cold, we got a fire pit. Very nice. This is a pretty epic beach house. I think that the uh, people have been using the other one down there as a bathroom for a bit too long. Got oh, a bit God. of a smell to it. I'm gonna give this one nine out of 10. The one down there, let's say seven out of 10. Because Whoa! Oh, yeah, we win. Whoa! I'm gonna use this one offer. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Now, everybody beware of the snapping turtle. Ah! Jeff, I'm not a real turtle. Oh. 